Well, today is the first day in Michigan where recreational cannabis, also known as marijuana, will be legal. It's the 6th of December. Oh, that sound, that sound means I need to put my seatbelt on, don't it? That's what that sound means. It means that uh, I'm not smart enough to do the one thing that keeps you safe in a vehicle. And that I had to wait and do it while I was driving, which makes it much, much, much more unsafe. So as you can see, even up here in Michigan, assholes with trucks don't know how to drive as soon as there's a little bit of snow on the ground. So I'm just going to take our morning drive around the block and talk to you about uh, this subject. And maybe, maybe we can get her done in less than an hour and a half. Time will tell. Uh, so, where were we at? So, Michigan, I believe, becomes the 14th state to completely legalize the recreational use of cannabis. And that is if you include Washington, D.C. as a state, which I don't, I think we're the 13th, somewhere around in there. And it's bittersweet for me today. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. The problem I have with the government allowing me to now use marijuana is that they never had the right to take away my choice to use marijuana. They never had the right to take away my choice to use alcohol, heroin, methamphetamine, and oh, Ogre, now you're going too far. You know, how do we get on a conversation about weed and now you're going to talk about heroin? Yes, it's my right as a human being to use whatever drug I want to use. And heroin is a drug that I could choose to use. Uh, well, we got we got rid of him. Ooh, is it icy out? Yeah. So it's the same thing with permits. You know, you want to put up a fruit stand. You want to grow fruit. I'll make it even even better. You have a stand of lumber here in Central Michigan, and you want to buy a portable sawmill, saw down your own lumber on your own land, and build a barn with your own lumber on your own land. Now at this point, nothing has left your property. Nothing has came on your property, except for a new barn that you've built. And, and of course you have nails and fasteners. I understand that. Let's just assume that all those are made on the property as well. What permits you have the ability to do that already you have the right to do that already but someone is taking your right away from you and is selling it back to you via a, a permit and you have this all over in the corporate world all of these huge corporations they don't want competition they don't want the little guy coming in and and scarfing up you know their market share so they're the they're the biggest lobbyers for more regulation when it comes to, I mean, everything, whether it's Walmart wanting a bunch of regulations for parking lots so that other big uh, companies can't put up stores, like in this state, Meyer, which Meyer can, Meyer is also very rich, but there's other, I know of a little place in Beaverton, Michigan called Beaverton Food Center, and when they went to expand and put in gas pumps, what they had to go through and the amount of drainage they had to put in, they're already existing their already existing parking lot was ridiculous. The reason? To keep them from expanding, to stop them from being any kind of competition to someone that's already established and doing what they're doing. Uh, well, the same thing goes for, you know, drug prohibition. The same thing, I mean, for example, with the medical marijuana, you already have the right as, a, a, as an American citizen to grow uh, cultivate, grow, you know, harvest, cure, and consume cannabis. You have that right. You have it. The government took it away from us years ago, a la Harry and Slinger, and then they they sell it back to you in Michigan. They sell you back the quote unquote right to smoke marijuana, Lily, under the guise of medical marijuana. Well, to my certain knowledge. Most of those people that were doing, that I know, most of the people using medical 
cannabis, medical marijuana, only had a sharp stabbing pain in their ass. So the government sold them back their right to use cannabis, regardless of if they say it's for pain relief or whatever, or if they or if they say it's just for recreational use. I mean, this is the state of the world today, that I am going to have a kind of celebration today because, woo, yeah. Always keep your wheels pointing down the road in case you're wondering. Uh, your front wheels always gotta go down the road, so if your back starts, you gotta keep keep the front wheels going down the road. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a sort of a celebration today because the government, the, the state government, after years of allowing the federal government to trample my rights, we voted and we now have said that as soon as I hit this line right here, as soon as I hit this, I can fire up this doobie I have here. I am now on private property. This is not even state funded in any way. This is just my family's private property. So I got out my doobie. Because as you can see, folks, we're getting close to home here. Lily's getting excited. And that does mean that we're at the end of our ramble. We're at the end of our rant for this morning. Look, grab your own rights. Make sure, ensure your own rights. Mm. Go out and vote. Mm. Become a member of a coalition. coalition. Do something to better your community. Mm. And this is the first one today, and I must say that this is the first marijuana cigarette I have ever smoked that was 100% legal. Right here. Been waiting for... 30 years to be able to do this, folks. So remember, be good to your friends, be good to your family members, be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seem to be so huge, you'll never be able to forget about it. Because constant viewers, at a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life, and your ability to make reasonable adult decisions for yourself will depart from you. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, that's good. Mm. 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 See ya.